for Luxie Corporation. Luxie Corporation provided me with a these new Luxie cameras that allow me to go out and meet uh, people and do interviews. Um, I was invited. I put in an application to go for this contest, and huh, I won. So they sent me a camera, and uh, that's how I'm going out to do. Anyone else report on things that are happening in our community. And what I'm doing is finding some of the biggest and brightest new stars that are becoming out that give me hope because I'm a pessimist. To give me hope that our future will be taken care of. And right now you're looking at two of the newest stars um, for our future because I'm an old man. I'm not going to be around that much longer. You know, Social Security, you know, is going out. You know, and, 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 I, and I'll be I'll be pushing a little. I'll be driving. I'll, be, I'll still be able to drive in Hemet because I have a white tip. Red tip and white cane still driving my truck because you can drive to 107 years old in Hemet. But again, um, these are the future uh, leaders of the new world. And with the people you've seen that I talk to and everything else, these are some of the people that will be leading us soon. And I wanted you to meet them now. Um, they're already stars already, but now you get to see them raw. And soon you'll get to see them everywhere. I'd like to introduce first. You all right here? My name is Marisol Riestra. And, and you two are twin sisters? Paternal sisters. Twin sisters. And your name is, please? Maricela Riestra. Okay. Um, I am sorry that I have to, for convenience of corporate America, I can't ask you to speak in, would mind speaking in English for me. Um, that's a corporate thing. I don't understand, but um, that's what that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find those rules and ask those questions. Why does why does everybody have a problem with Latinos? Why does everybody have a problem, like in the state Arizona, trying to get rid of all Latinos, and like California have dumb rules like. Um, um, and school side councils, the school side council has a meeting with the people from school side council that are white and black, <laughs> mostly white, and then they have school side council meetings for people that are Latino that speak Spanish. The two teams never meet. Why is that? Isn't that, isn't that against, the, against the Constitution of the United States that, that they have separated you because you speak a different language? That doesn't sound right. And, and again, what I'm looking for right now is, again, you are your future stars, and I want to hear about you. So I'm going to I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit towards you, my head towards you, and I'm going to zoom in, look at the camera a little bit closer to you, and I want you. Oh my goodness! Whoa, 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 whoa. stop! Hold on, break. Please go right ahead. Tell me about yourself in the bio. About myself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Marisol Riestra. I'm 22 years old and I'm currently a college student at Cal California State University San Bernardino. Oh, I'm okay. majoring in sociology and with a Yay. minor in ethnic studies or criminal justice. I'm still leaning to either one. So you future CISI person, so go ahead. But um, tell me a little bit more. Tell me a little more about, your, about, about yourself. I come from a family of six in total. I have a paternal twin, twin sister. I have an older sister and an older brother. Um, I grew up. That must have been hell. Yeah, I lived in an apartment with two rooms, one bathroom. Oh, oh my goodness! Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were raised here in the San Jacinto Valley. Mm -hmm. I came. I went to San Jacinto High School. Then I then I uh, entered Mount San Jacinto College. Mm -hmm. After three years, and I transferred to Cal State San Bernardino. That's where I'm currently at. Mm -hmm. I have less than a year to graduate. Congratulations! So thank you. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm currently a tutor for the Upper Bound Program. T currently a tutor for Upper Bound Program. How do you like it so far? I love working with with children, with teenagers with people. And what gave, what, what, what to you gave you the insight to say, I want to do this? I was looking for a job originally and Paula told me <laughs> that they were, they were looking for tutors and she looked at my transcript. She noticed that in English I was doing was good. Like, so I was like, yeah, I had job. A's in English so she recommended me to apply for a tutoring position in English. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing and I've been working for them for 
four years, I think, around Wow, that. okay, good yeah. to go. I also started with the Talent Search program, which mm -hmm. is a part, of, a part of TRIO, and mm -hmm. then moved up to Upper Bound, and mm -hmm. this is where I'm at right now. So you're, more, you're doing more of what, I work with Dr. Hill, then with uh, Mrs. Ramirez, Mendoza. Mendoza. Ah, Mrs. Mendoza, so you're more of the Dr. Hill Talent Search person? Um, back then, it was Eva Seva. She was the advisor. Mm -hmm for talent search and also Marissa Mendoza was a director. Dr. Mm -hmm. Hill wasn't there at that time. He okay. really started this year. Okay. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to your sister now real quick. Okay. Now, tell me about you. Uh, my name is Maricela de Estra, and as my sister told you, mm -hmm. um, I was born here in San Jacinto, a uh, family of six. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I hope the numbers didn't change when you switched no. over to sisters. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm right now a current student at CSU San Bernardino, mm -hmm. um, majoring in mathematics. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, people okay. always get like shocked when I'm in when I say my major, but I, no, no, because me, because me, because I'm still learning. You know, when I went over took that test here at Santa Santa, and it told me that you know you need to go back under that rock because back you know when I can't I can't wear my tassel on my on my mirrors because they're made out of stone. See, and they drag and break the mirror when I put them on there because it just says year one, you know, BC. You know, and, it, and they break my mirror every time when I put it on there, so I can't I can't put my tassels on my car, so that they're that old and everything else. But in mathematics, my goodness, c congratulations! Did you have you yeah. have such a mind that thinks like that? As I always say, women are smarter than men, and I've said it several times <laughs> before. But please go right ahead. Uh, well, um, I like math. I've liked it since seventh grade. It's kind of corny, like when you say in seventh grade, oh, I want to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. But actually, I did want to be a teacher because uh, my professor, Mr. Nectel, mm -hmm. at the time he was doing um, Algebra 2 and um, Pre-Calculus, mm -hmm. and I was able to be in Algebra 2 my seventh grade year. And then he went to high school, so I saw him again. And it's kind of like remembrance when you like, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Time, 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 time. You were taking Algebra 2 in 7th grade? Mm -hmm. 